continuation of cell structures as seen under the electron microscope. 5. Ribosomes. Ribosomes are spherical in shape. Some of the ribosomes are bound to the endoplasmic reticula while other are scattered within the cytoplasm hence are said to be free ribosomes. Ribosomes are synthesized in the nucleus. Function of the ribosomes. A. They form site for protein synthesis. Six. Lysosomes. Lysosomes are spherical sac-like organelles bound by a single membrane. Their membrane is intact to avoid leaking of enzymes which will then destroy the whole cell. Functions of lysosomes. A. They contain lytic enzyme which break down large molecules, destroy worn out organelles or entire cells. B. They take part in digestion in unicellular organisms slash single cellid organisms. C. They are important in the breakdown of bacteria and other harmful microbes that might have been ingested in food. NB. This explains why they are highly abundant in injured or infected cells. 7. Golgi bodies slash Golgi apparatus. They are found close to the membrane. They are abundant in cells that are active in secretion example, pancreatic cells which secrete enzymes. Functions of Golgi apparatus A. They package and transport glycoproteins. B. They are involved in secretion of synthesized proteins and carbohydrates. C. They manufacture lysosomes. 8. Centrioles. They are rod-shaped and located outside the nuclear membrane. NB. They are absent in plant cells but present in animal cells. Functions of centrioles. A. They take part in cell division. B. They take part in formation of cilia and flagella in lower organisms. 9. Chloroplasts. They are egg-shaped structures bound by two membranes. They contain a gel-like stroma through which runs a system of membranes that are stacked together to form grana. The granum contains chlorophyll which traps light energy that is used in photosynthesis. Function of the chloroplasts A. It is a site for photosynthesis. 10. Vacuoles They are sacs that are filled with a fluid called cell sap. Vacuoles vary in size example in animals they are small while in plants they are large and centrally placed. Functions of vacuoles A. They store sugars and salts. B. In single cellid organisms, food vacuoles store and digest food substances. C. In other single cellid organisms example amoeba, the contractile vacuole excretes unwanted materials from the cell. 11. Cell wall. It's the rigid outer wall cover of plants. It contains cellulose fibers. Functions of the cell wall. A. It gives the plant cell its definite shape. B. It provides mechanical support. C. It offers protection against mechanical injury. D. It allows gases, water, and other substances to pass through it. 12. Nucleus. It's spherical or oval shape. It's a double membrane bound structure made up of viscous fluid known as nucleoplasm in which nucleolus and chromatin materials are suspended. Functions of the nucleus. A. It has minute pores or nuclear poles which allow movement of materials in and out of the cell. B. It controls all the activities of the cell. C. It's responsible for the manufacture of ribosomes while chromatin contains hereditary materials. NB. The nucleolus are small bodies often seen within the nucleus. Function of the nucleolus. A. Controls and regulates the activities of the cell, example growth, and metabolism. B. 
carries the genes, structures that contain the hereditary information.